Hello everyone, my name is Emily and today I'm going to be doing a vlog on how to build a professional but nurturing relationship with our brains. Firstly, thank you so much for watching and getting in touch with your nurturing side through this vlog and taking the step to better your understanding and teaching practice. So thank you, well done. So the first important thing is to try and identify what personality your Brady has. Introvert, extrovert, feeler, carer, intuitive. Those are quite important to understand when building a nurturing relationship with a Brady. So why does that matter? What type of personality they have? Well, it is so important just to understand our Brady's at what type of lesson they have but also how they react to your lesson. Nine times out of 10 is nothing personal towards us. If they didn't get it, if they were not impressed, nine times out of 10, it's not because of us as a teacher. It's perhaps their personality style coming through and not gelling perhaps. And that is where it comes in. How do we build a nurturing relationship, but also a professional one with our breadies? And it'll be identifying their personality and playing to that. I've got an extrovert and I know, okay, let's make this lesson fun and let's, um, lots of extension, lots of colors and lots of giving her the, the pen and giving her the, um, chance to control the lesson perhaps but then you've got the feelers who you know oh there's a mum and it's grace's birthday in the picaro course oh it's grace's birthday and i wonder how old she is and you know that beautiful and allowing her that time to uh, investigate a little bit further into the feelings of the characters there's a, a topic in Picaro uh, where Zoe falls over. She bumps and they walk into school and allowing the feelers to, you know, to dive into that sort of part of the lesson is very important because that makes them feel good. And that's what they enjoy doing. And that is how we can build a nurturing relationship in that sense is molding the Picaro course or the Think course or CGE or uh, exam prep to their type of personality. Now, one of the more obvious uh, ways to build a nourishing and nurturing relationship with a Brady is to remember their name, remember their age, remember the certain extension questions you asked them in previous lessons that they have answered, such as, do you have any pets? What's your favorite color? Um, remembering their answers and engaging in that is really important. For example, I had a Brady who said she loved pink. A couple of lessons later, I see she's wearing pink. Oh, you're wearing your favorite color, pink. Wow, beautiful. And she was like, oh, she remembered. And, it, uh, and then it turns out she actually changed her favorite color, but that's okay. At least I remembered and she was like, wow, yes, pink. But now I actually like blue. And we got to that, you know, beautiful sharing stage within teacher Brady or buddy Brady relationship where she could share more things about herself, which was really lovely. So that I think is very important is to remember the things that your Brady's have shared with you. Because for them, being so young, they're sharing their secrets and they're, ah, you know, talking about themselves. And that's the biggest thing right now in their lives is their favorite teddy or their favorite color or their pet, you know, and they want you to remember that. And if you do, it's really, really lovely. And they get a lovely sense of I'm important. Me, the Breddy, my favorite color is important. My love of teddy bears is important. And that's really beautiful. And they will really, really, they will soon begin to trust you and to understand you and to want to talk to you about more things in their life because they know you're taking notice. Now, just for getting to the last few points, it's also being there for your Brady. At the beginning of the lesson, if you can see mm, 
Something's not right here. Are you okay? Are you happy today? If they say, yes, I'm happy today, why are you happy today? What made you happy today? And try to just see if they are just saying that, what makes them happy? Because then if they are having a bad day in the future, what makes them happy is reading books or watching television. And you've asked, are you happy today? And I'm not so happy today. Then why don't we read a book? Can you find me your favorite book and read to me your book? They're going to love that. And that will soon, you know, pick them up and um, encourage them to be happy. And those sort of things are quite important. And it's kind of an easy way to get them in a better mood. Just jot down, you know, what they enjoy and how you are going to bring that out in every lesson. And just the last two points I want to make is to know when to contact safeguarding and to know your boundaries, you know, representing IQ Bar. We are not allowed to disclose where we live or it is encouraged not to. You know, I wouldn't disclose my age, my relationship status, um, where I live, uh, my religious views or my religious values. You know, excluding holidays, I don't mind saying, oh, it's Christmas in two weeks, you know, but I wouldn't say I went to church yesterday and this is what I learnt, you know. You know, those things might push or might push other Bradys away because they might not believe in that. And that's OK. We're all allowed to believe in different things. But also knowing when to contact safeguarding is really important. It's not our jobs to take on really heavy or troubling information and keep it you know, to ourselves and, and us help the Bready to build a nurturing relationship. That's not how it works. We can contact safeguarding at iqbar.co.uk whenever there is a problem and they are more equipped to handle a situation like that. But awesome. Thank you for watching and thank you for understanding how we can build a nurturing relationship with our Bradys. Thank you.